It's a beautiful Thursday. Da -da. Ba -da -ba. I forgot the rest of the world. <laughs> Not smoking, not smoking, don't smoke kids. Woo, we spring chest. It is a little cold outside. Tonight it's pasta night. Yeah. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but today is February 2nd. That's us. And today is Groundhog Day, as it is known all around the world. Groundhog Day was, uh, well, let me give you a little history on, that, on Groundhog Day. Now, just so you guys don't think I'm this smart or that I have such an amazing memory, which I kind of do when it comes to certain things, like that one song that I was telling you about. I'm getting most of my information right now just concerning uh, Groundhog Day from good old Wikipedia. That's right, Wikipedia. Because I'm not doing a peer review research paper right now, I can use Wikipedia, it's okay, don't worry about it. The significance is that it basically predicts the arrival of spring, or the prolonging and delay of spring. It's either six more weeks of winter or an early spring. So, and apparently, apparently in southeastern Pennsylvania, Groundhog Lodz, they celebrate the holiday with this word, which is a social event in which food is served, speeches are made, and one or more uh, gespiel, I think, which is a player skit, are performed for entertainment. And the Pennsylvania German dialect is the only language that's allowed to be spoken at the event. Anybody who speaks English pays a penalty, uh, which is usually in the form of a nickel, dime, or quarter per word spoken, per word spoken. So, um, you know, it can be very expensive if you start singing like outcast bombs over Baghdad at the event, you might have to pay your life savings. The largest Groundhog celebration, Groundhog Day celebration is in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Punxsutawney Phil, very famous movie, cocktail. Apparently the origins, the origins lie in ancient European weather forecasting or weather lore, which a badger or a sacred bear is a prognosticator, as opposed to a groundhog. We don't have any prognosticating bears, or weather bears here, or sacred bears, or badgers. I guess we maybe kind of do, in some cultures we probably have a sacred bear. Maybe like Native American culture they have like a sacred bear. Yeah, just basically weather prognostication. So, today he did see a shadow, which means we have six more weeks of winter. However, if you check my Twitter account, you'll know that I wrote my opinion down on this, which is basically, if we're gonna have the same kind of winter that we've been having so far, cool in the gang with me, son, because this has been a mild winter. Pretty much anybody from Chicago and just the nearby region and prefecture, they'll tell you the same thing. This has been a non-winter winter, which is great to hear. I mean, it's also kind of scary because it's like, what, what happens when the real winter actually arrives? But so far, it's been great. I'm not complaining. Um, it's gotten down to like five degrees, maybe like one or two days. That was back in like, I think December. So yeah, I'm okay with that. If it's like six more weeks of this and maybe warmer, because it's been jumping up. It went up to 50 degrees that one day of the Women's March. Uh, so if that's if that's what's gonna happen, cool. I'm okay with that. Thanks, Punks and Honey Phil. You're the best. Yeah, I gotta do it cool. I gotta do it properly. Thanks, Punk. Thanks, Punk Satani Phil. Wait. Thanks, Punk Satani Phil. You're the best. I need like somebody else behind me <laughs> going like this way, so that way we're both back and back. Maybe I can splice this footage. Maybe I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna blend them together. It's probably gonna be way weird. Whatever. Hunk. She's already here.
Thank you.